Sup, wasted. Yep. Finally got a titanium bass. Worked my way up from a G10 to a carbon fiber. Now I got that Thai bass. It's really nice. I've been wanting one of this has been honestly like one of my first grails ever since I started flipping like around five years ago. Um, I mean, I'm always going to talk about him. It's that uh, knife caviar video. I think it's his first one where he, uh, where he makes review of the titanium basilisk. After I saw that video, I saw that knife, I was like, I got to get this one. Didn't realize it'd take me that long. I honestly didn't think I'd stick that long into this hobby, but Alas, here we are. What makes this titanium bask really special to me is that this has been modified into oblivion to where I honestly feel like I, I really kind I, I I might not know what an, a stock titanium bass flips like. Like I can't even guess. Um, I am the uh, third owner of this knife at the very least. Uh, I got this knife second hand from David from uh, Zippy Balasong. You know, the guy who made these inserts. Uh, he's been, his, his, his work's been everywhere and I'm really happy for him. He's a really nice guy. But yeah, so when I was first uh, messaging him about this knife, whoop, messaging him about this knife, um, he told me that the... Uh, and he got it, the uh, previous owner, bead blasted or zirconia blasted handles. So it's like, it was super slick. Right here, I don't know if you guys could see it, but the handles look kind of brushed. And uh, they're a little bit lighter, which I like aesthetically. But yeah, they are slick. So David was telling me he, the, this knife is what inspired him to make these inserts. Which I think is really cool that there's some sort of modding history and inspiration behind this knife. And I appreciate that he was willing to let go of it to me. Yeah. So when he originally uh, sold me this knife, um, it had Zippy Balasong extended spacers. Which were really, really good. Honestly, this Basilisk kind of flipped better with those spacers. But I aesthetically wanted something a little bit more simpler. But those extended spacers are great. Um, if you want more real estate to work with when you're flipping. And uh, they actually protected the butt end of the handles really well. When I first got this knife, it was, uh, there's like a snowstorm well i guess more of an ice storm we don't really get snow in texas it was more of like hard sleet and ice sleeted for like a whole week and so i was outside flipping this guy and since i wasn't completely used to how slick the handles were i was dropping a lot and hit butt end onto the ground over and over those spacers were not there wasn't even a scratch on them even though they're uh, 3d printed plastic they were like some or I don't know what kind of material it is, but it, it definitely did not feel cheap. It protected the butt end of the knife. Uh, and I just, unfortunately, as much as I appreciate um, David's artistry and engineering that went into making those spacers, I just wanted to make this knife mine. So, I removed those extended spacers and put in these the G10 Jade Palm design spacers that was original that I put that I had on my Ghost Bass. You know the one. If you watch my channel, you you, you know about my Ghost Bass list. Uh, the G10 spacers make this knife a little bit more handle bias than the uh, extended spacers did. But I'm okay with that. This makes the knife feel pretty sturdy. Uh, 
I mean, I, I like neutral knives, but there's something about a slight handle bias that makes a knife feel solid. And the blue uh, zippy ballast line inserts just make this knife pop a lot. I really, really love the aesthetic of it. And it really does uh, help with the grip a lot. I have almost no problem now flipping this knife or holding onto this knife. Uh, I did get coated screws, pivot screws, make it uh, kind of, uh, you know, go with the, sorry, go with the blue inserts. And then I took the, some blue uh, Squid Industries sex bolt pivots. So I got blue and black and blue and blue. And then finally, the last thing I, I did to this knife is I swapped out the blade that originally came with it. It was a very beat, well, it was a pretty fairly beaten basilisk blade. And I swapped it out with my fairly mint blade that was on my carbon fiber bass. So, yeah. Uh, this, this knife is in that weird in-between space of grail and beater. So, I'm pretty happy with that. I don't feel super guilty flipping this thing. But then also I'm not like trying to baby it. Because this thing's already, this thing has been a beater long before it came to me. But yeah. So, I just wanted to share my, uh, bass list with y'all. And, uh. Yeah. Y'all stay sharp, okay?